One game, 60 minutes, is the difference between Rostislav Nastrov cementing himself as one of the greatest hockey players of all time or being an absolute failure. It is the Stanley Cup playoffs. Game 7, a rivalry of the ages. The Winnipeg Jets versus the Colorado Avalanche. The winner of this series heads to the Western Conference Finals where we will meet the Calgary Flames. Looking at the bracket, every other series is done. We are the last remaining and it all comes down to this. So far, this series has been an absolute war. We have gone to battle with our teammates, taking out Josh Morrissey again and again and again. But right now, it is a fresh start, a clean slate. One game determines it all. And here we go. Game seven is always exciting. It doesn't matter which league it is. Is there a key to victory? I am the key to victory, says Rostislav Nashrov. Let's go! Rusty's ready to go. He's fired up. Look at the face on the kid. This guy is in the zone. Okay. Rostislav Nashrov. Now, the good news is we are back in Colorado, and we play unreal when we are at Ball Arena. Rusty taking some time before the game to collect his thoughts, get ready to go, and I'm telling you right now, this is going to be something special. One game, we score a couple quick goals here. This series is over. Just a couple quick goals is the difference maker. Again, I think this game, especially with the rivalry that we have, the first one is going to be huge. So let's get it right off the gate. All right, boys, let's go here. The crowd is absolutely electric. Okay, he just <laughs> reverse ices it to start the game. Sick. The crowd is absolutely electric and Wheeler get wrecked. Huge hit from Rusty to start. And just like that, Rusty, uh, Rusty is heading to the box. Not even a bad trip, but we poke checked one time. We take the trip and we head to the box. We need a big kill from the boys here. Oh, a big kill as the Colorado Avalanche come through with a shorty with Rusty in the box. There is no shot. Oh, let's get this back again. Okay, here we go. Me and Landy. Oh, the backhand and no look. I'm just going to go right in front of the net. We're going to be a nice screener here. Johnson. Oh, ew. Oh, good looks, good looks. We got PK Subban. There's Pionk. Nice save, nice save block, whatever that was. Let's just be nice and smart here, boys. Nothing against. This is where it's starting to get a little scary. You guys know how it goes. There's just periods of time. Oh, I try to go for the chip deke around Subban, and we absolutely paid the price. Okay, one last stretch up the ice here. Nothing doing, and we're going to get off. I know Coach is not going to be happy with us. We not only took the penalty, we got wrecked three times in the process. Our goal almost just went into. We have yet to really get anything going in this game, at least at least our line. Obviously, with us off the ice, things are happening, but right now, we, we got to be this impact line that we are. There you go, Gerard. Okay, I'm going to try to stay back. For, actually, you know what? We're just going to cut right to the net. Fire that low. You know, that's fine. That's fine. Let's get this ozone set up. Here we go. Nice cut to Rusty. <gasps> oh, still there. Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing there. Great D, boys. We're going to give... Okay, we gave him a lane. Rusty to the races. <gasps> Behind spin. Uh, ref. Okay. Oh, okay. Ref. Boom. Nice shot there, Rust. Okay, we finally got a little... I think that's our, literally our first shot of the game 10 minutes in. Okay, we're going to head to the bench here. Again, no risk. We do not want to take that injury, especially in a Game 7 situation. And no more dumb penalties either. The real question is, where is Josh Morrissey? I have yet to see him on the ice. I don't know if he's being short-shifted. I don't know if he's injured or what. We are going to have to figure out how to solve Hellebuck as well. He's been giving us trouble all series long. Okay, there's our man Josh Morrissey. <gasps> Josh Morrissey just cross checked McKinnon to the end. How? I'm going to do the same thing. Dude, you have got to be kidding me. How is that not a call on Morrissey? How does he continue to get away with it? Every single play. Okay, we got a little, we got a little odd, man. I'm going to try to burn him to the outside. We do burn him to the outside. That's Klingberg who we just body in the corner. Nice spin -o. Rusty, <gasps> spin -o. Got around Klingberg, but not quite the second guy. A good look nonetheless. And the first period comes to an end. The only goal that we have in this game seven is when Rostislav Nashrov was in the box for a penalty. So maybe we drop the gloves. We give the other line some time to shine if we want to be a true team player. But you know, we're not going to do that. We're going to come out here. Let's make some magic happen in period number two. We need to get rolling. Period number two, Josh Morrissey on the puck. We are going to be watching him like a hawk. I do not want Josh Morrissey to make a single play this entire game. Nice there. We're going to drop that bat. Not where I wanted to drop it back, but it did work. Nice bump. <gasps> McKinnon! McKinnon! Oh, he didn't quite get the shot off. What a cut, though. He cut... 
through both the Morsi was lost. Nothing there. Rusty with a huge hit as well. And my stick. What is happening to my stick? Boys, what is happening? <laughs> the rusty, the rusty helicopter. And he's still going. Oh my, dude. He just can't make it up. Game seven and we're getting a helicopter animation on our stick. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, Bergie, drop that back to me. Yep, beautiful. Top left. Boom. That's the find. That's a great look. Boom. Bury that, Bergie. Right now, we just have to figure out how to beat Hellebuck, right? I feel like we just get in these games where it's like you can try any shot from any angle and you know Hellebuck is going to... <gasps> you know he's going to come through with the save, dude. How does that not go in? We feed it over perfectly to Rand, and we still get robbed on the back door. Hellebuck's having one of those games. All right, we knew it had potential of happening. We know at any moment he can just pop off like this, but we can beat him. It's going to be playing smart. It's going to be ripping shots, and it's just going to be keeping the pressure up. I'm going to come in here and dig this puck out. I missed it. <gasps> yep, here we go. Okay, a little odd, man. We got me, Rand, and McKinnon on a quick rush. Yep, feed me. Back door. Boom. Cannon doesn't quite have a stick on the ice. Not a bad look, though. We're going to go behind the net. A little fake Mishy. And Morrissey giving me the latest bump from behind, dude. How is Morrissey so good? 1-0. 8.30 still left on the clock here in the second period. Is this really going to come down to one shorthanded goal from the Colorado Avalanche? Is that... Thought we were going to jinx it there for a moment. Let's just reset this puck. Go ahead, Eds. Yep. Yep. Wide open. Boom! Did he save that or did I miss the net? Dude, what do we have to do? I think he did a desperation diving save and it hit off the knob of his stick. This is nuts. Rusty and line one out here. Absolutely flying go rip. Oh! And Rusty goes for the dive and he still can't get it to go. Okay, this is the situation in which something bad usually happens, right? Where we stay out for a couple extra seconds and then we're going to get bodied and be injured. I can already smell it happening from a mile away. So what we're going to do is right when I get this puck, we're getting to the red line. We're dumping it down. Okay, we're going to let the boys handle it. Nice and safe. Nice and safe here in game seven. When is the last time that we had a game that was low scoring like this? A 1-0 game after almost two periods of hockey until now. Josh Morrissey, see you, bud. I've never seen Rusty fly in the air like that. I'm 6'7", and we are just flying around like it's nothing. Okay, nice cut, Mac. Another good shot on Hellebuck, but another big save. Wow, this is a battle. Need a goal before this period ends. We go to the locker room with the two-goal lead, and this, this game might as well be over. Here's Rusty. We're just gonna, I'm just going to fire that. I don't know what that shot was. It was supposed to be low, far pad, and it ended up being a pass right to his stick. Here we go. Rusty with no wheels left. No big hits. No big hits. That's all right. We'll take those slight bumps all day long, but no big hits. You know, we're going we're gonna to be smart. I'm getting off the ice. Nice save. We're going to watch the last 30 seconds of this one. 15 seconds. No goals against. Anything but a goal against. Little stride deep there. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And we survive. Okay. So we are heading to the third period with a one goal lead absolutely nothing has happened we have had so many good shots hellebuck has robbed us with the, the knob of his stick twice but right now it comes down to the third period we let in no goals we win the game we bury a couple goals we also win the game let's play nice and smart play our game and good things will come here we go everything on the line here boys i need this next goal rusty is hungry for this next goal cut across <gasps> Ew! Ooh, we almost had that toey klingberg Take a seat. Both of us just absolutely destroy and cling together. Okay, we have to be careful of their first line, of course, with Malkin, Johnny Hockey, Morrissey out there all together. It's a bit scary. Ooh, it's giving me a little space. Rusty with the... Rusty with the cut? Morrissey! Boom! Drops his stick in the process. Yeah, you better not get back up, Morrissey. Hold up! Hold up! Here we go! Man! Man, man, man. Feed me! What is what is happening? Okay, Johnny Hockey got Johnny Hockey got a rough at some point, but somebody may have been injured because we had the puck on our stick when they blew the whistle dead. I don't know. That looked weird to me, but it it seems everything's okay. Okay, we are all right here. We are all right. 
Coach, get me out on the power play, and I promise you, without a doubt, a power play. Okay, nine seconds. Nine seconds might not be enough time for Rusty, but you know what? We'll give it our best shot. I'm over on this right wing. I'm ready for my OV1 T. Feed me. Feed, we lose the draw. Okay, holy. Here we go. Yep, Rusty. Wheels. Wheels, wheels, wheels. What a poke check from Subban, dude. What am I supposed to do there? I just do not have the wheels to get around them. And there it is. It is not going to be a one goal wins it kind of game as the Winnipeg Jets tie up this game with just 11 minutes on the clock. Here we go, Rusty. Get it back here, boys. Get it up to Kale. I'm going to look for that cross. <sighs> that, was, that was a little scary, that hit. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to look for that cut play up on the point. Cut play, shoot far side. That's the one that works most consistently for us. Rantanen, I see you. Not able to get it, Subban. Take a seat, brother. Take a seat. Let's go. Yep. Here we go. Ooh, PK's on me. We're going to go back skate. Back skate between the legs. Ew. Rusty, what a move. I'm going to do the cut play right now. Here we go. Boom. Go in. Dude, we just cannot get this puck to go right now. Hellebuck is standing on his head. 1-1 one, one with nine minutes. No goals against here, please. And with one minute left, Rusty is being thrown on the ice. Could this be an OT game seven situation? We're not going to let it get there. We are scoring this in regulation. We are ending this series, ending this game, and it is going to be all because of Rusty. Barley, what a save. Okay, nice and smart here, boys. I'm covering that. Yep, I got him. I got PK Subban up here. We're going to cover him. We've been bodying each other all night long. <gasps> what is going on? We throw that puck out. Yes, sir. Let's go. Here we go. Nice little saucer rant. 42 seconds. We're going to get to stay out here the rest of this period. <gasps> rant tries to force the sauce over to me. It's a little bit too much of a force, though. No shots here. 32 seconds. I got the back door covered. I'm playing a little bit lower just to cover just in case. And we find the lane. Brandon. Brandon taking a hit to make a play. Me taking a hit to make a play. Neither of us can get it out, though, and they have an odd man. But we poke it. What a poke. Here we go. Rant. Ew. Brandon, what was that? Yep. Rant. Feed me. Rusty. Five. Four. Pass it up top. What a shot. Rebound. Rusty. Ah! Let's go. And Rusty with 1.5 on the clock picks up the trash oh my let's go oh my rostislav nasrov the stanley cup game seven hero and just like that the abs throw it in the air and sell it. let's go let's just take it in that is one of the craziest endings that we have ever had in a be a pro as we go through the handshake line rusty is an actual hero you have got to be kidding me <laughs> i saw that puck bounce off of his pads and everything just turned to slow motion the net was wide open in front of me. The time was winding down, and Rusty is there to pick up the trash. That is honestly still one of the craziest things I've, I've seen in Beard Pro. I cannot believe how, like, everything that had to happen to lead to that very moment for us to score the game winning goal the way that we did. That is what hockey is all about. As we take a look at the stats, Rusty. A quiet game. The Avs in general, a quiet game. We go to the box, they score one shorthanded goal, and we could not solve Hellebuck at all. But in the dying moments of the game, 1.5 seconds on the clock, Rusty is there to finish what he started. Hey, remember, remember what I said before the game to this reporter? We made it a reality. Just like you said you would, Rostislav. You had a big game, and your team is moving on to the next round. I took care of my job, and the rest of the team finally took care of theirs too finally that's a little harsh rusty no the way you and colorado have been playing it's going to be tough to stop you and we hit her with the see ya let's go rusty fire <laughs> plus three passing plus three slap shot accuracy plus wait that's actually huge oh my and with that this episode comes to an end as we take a look at the updated bracket only four teams remain here in the stanley cup playoffs it is the colorado avalanche versus the calgary flames in the west and in the east the toronto maple leafs and the ottawa senators i don't know how it came to be two odd teams to have over there on the right but no matter what happens it is shaping up to 
be a banger of a Western Conference final. I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. I still can't believe it, man. I've never been that fired up. If you did enjoy the video, hit it with a like. Hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 1 milli subscribers. Much more content on the way here in 2023. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah, yeah.